This video contains two calls from January 7th and January 8th, 2024. In this first call, you will hear Sonia say she's been talking to a blogger who visited Shirley's beauty shop. She says this blogger gave her some information about an alleged victim and that they want to interview Roswell Police Department. Take a listen. Hello. Yeah, I'm fine. How are you? Good. So, not today. That's a good I know. The outside plane in the sprinkler. Oh, okay, okay. All right, then. That's cool. How are you, Phil? Uh, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Yeah. So, yeah. So, uh, yeah, shit is coming. It's coming. I can't mm -hmm. wait to find that police report. Uh, from 2021. 21, October. All right. Yeah, I can't wait. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She got her white boyfriend. <laughs> what? Yeah, she got her white boyfriend. That's what they told me. Mm -hmm. That's what they've been on. Right, got a white boyfriend. Yeah, yeah. that's what she told me. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Because they be, they be doing a little investigation on everybody and everything and what's what and all of that. <laughs> they digging, that's for sure. They yeah. got to keep the train going, so they've been digging through everything. Everything. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they've been digging through everything. So, and then she's talking to, uh, the, the one blogger's talking to, um, Eleven Alive. What? <laughs> so I her, that's that's the best bet. Eleven Alive. So Eleven Alive do all the investigations against Roswell, and they've been really putting my, uh, you know, the light on how Roswell move and how they crooked and corrupt. So she's gonna get with him. She's focusing on the on the on the case. That's what she specifically. She said she went to Roswell Police. To try to get an interview and they haven't returned her call. I said, they're not. They're not because they're lying. So she ain't going to put it on record. She already put it on court record when she lied and said about the jurisdiction and all this other stuff. She already lied on court record. She perjured herself saying that this all happened in Fulton County. Kentucky's not in Fulton County, honey. So I don't know what you're talking about. That's a lie. You know? Perjured herself. Perjured herself in court. Was you lie on the stand specifically because he sat there and asked her, and what if it just all happened in Fulton County? That ah, you carded yourself specifically. Didn't happen in Fulton County. Oops, there go that. Oh. oh, okay then. So what is mm -hmm. you doing? I'm still on the bed. I got to get up. <laughs> <laughs> That's because so, um, I was on the phone with Madison. She was on her way to Bronx. And then the blogger called me. And so then you called me. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. One that's doing the um, investigation on the criminal history, on the criminal side of everything. And yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. Very insightful. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Like, no wonder they didn't indict him yet. Uh, yeah, no wonder. <laughs> wow. Yeah, she's been pulling records and everything, all kind of stuff. She don't have a transcript, so I did ask her if she had a transcript from the last two hearings. She said she don't have that. She got she got a whole bunch of other stuff. But she's been just pulling everything, you know. And I was like, well, I we might want to go get those transcripts. Wow. From the court hearings. Mm-hmm. Okay. Then. Every little bit helps. I'm just, uh, I'm just silent. I ain't saying shit. Nope. <laughs> so, but, so I sent you a picture of a guy card, but I'll tell you about that. Uh, well, yeah, okay. We don't need to do all that. Yeah. Yeah. But he works in that same office as Hannah, and he just got somebody. We don't have to talk about all that. We don't have to talk about mm -hmm. all that. Yeah. yeah. So, she said he's very good. Very good. Yep. Okay. 
She said she's seen, she's seen, um, she's seen them at the beauty shop, mother and daughter together. What? Last week. Mm-hmm. What? Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> wow. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, then. Yeah. This shit crazy. It is, isn't it? This shit is crazy. Wow. I don't know, you know. It, 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 some things happen to put things in perspective. This is true. This is very, mm-hmm. very, very true now. This is true. This is true. You stand back and you kind of look at how things are moving and how things and how people in your life move and how you need to. Like a chessboard, put your players different, you know. You were once this, but now you're this. You were once that, but now you're this. When I went to the hospital, that did that for me, you know. It kind of put things in perspective of how people are in your life and who was there, who was not who moved differently, who did this, you know, and it just makes you see going forward who needs to be and not be in your life. Right. This is true. This and things that you need to do differently. And, and you know, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. Mm-hmm. Wow. Oh, okay then. Yeah, so. Um. Mm-hmm. I, I mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out how this what this person is so interested in it. That's what she does. Now she specifically goes to court and you know I'm deals with that. You know. I'm a, why, why are they so interested in it? It's a big story. I already told you. Every time they release this video, it's getting thirty, forty thousand views. Oh. Steal, steal. I, I was like, we ain't even down to 2,000 views. It's like off of rip. Anything that get released, you got 40,000 40, people interested on a phone call. 40,000 people interested. Specifically following the case wow. and everything and any and everything that's said about it. That's cool. I mean, it's good in a sense because, you know, you got to get a fair situation. I don't, you know? I don't want that trying to hurt my goddamn case on some bullshit. Well, they're changing the narrative now, so that's what that is. You get me? What? So that whole thing went from when that first, when it came out in March, and they were talking about animals. Right. Uh, uh, it's not, you, you know what I'm saying? So it's, the narrative has completely changed. Completely. And that was the whole point of it all, to make the focus be truthfully and on what's going on with this case and you know and that's what her thing was what was the one thing that what started all of this shit you know what he's trying to say it was a landlord that came talking about rent you know I said but you know you get the police report go get the police reports on that and see you know I doubt if that's what it was I think they just saw black people in the yard and, and went and it went from there you know it's See who we can fuck with, because that's what the police department is known for, fucking with people. Yeah. See a big house, black people in the driveway. Ooh, let's see. Let's see what we could pick and find out about these people. They start running the tag of the cars in the driveway, and they start running the background, and they go from there. That's all they got to do. And let's say this is what happened. Let's say this is what happened. Let's say this is what happened. Why would a, 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 a guy who has real estate, go to the police because his tenant is late on rent. That doesn't make sense. That's not crime. That's civil. That doesn't make sense to me. He knows not to go to the police about that. He knows that's a civil case and just file a three day notice and an eviction. Why would you go to the police? He didn't smell drugs. You know? You didn't see a like nine one one police presence, you know, to say something was going on. So all that doesn't even make sense to me. But, you know, you got Channel 11 on it, and you got all the bloggers, and then you got the one specific two of them that's just, just looking on the criminal side of everything. I was doing an investigative reporting. Oh, uh, okay. 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 Okay
come out later maybe um i don't feel sick or anything so i might come out the house later for me because i don't plan on doing anything monday through friday this week i plan on just sit my ass in the house <laughs> i do i gotta do one th- i gotta do one thing and and, and that's what i'm working on um monday after you know i might just come back and do that but um, yeah, they be on listen. She be on Tracy's page. Who is the that? aunt. The aunt. <laughs> Man, she be on our page. Know, she was. I don't know none of this shit you talking about. Right, because I don't. I don't go on social media looking for nobody. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 you know, I don't even bother with that part. But this person, she on you know, they, she following on their pages. She on, she on, like that one girl did when she went and put up my mama's page and my this page and she done gave everybody else ideas and shit. So now she done went on everybody that's on that list situation. Looking at everybody's movement. I was like, oop, what's better you than me? <laughs> I said, I said, everybody on that sheet. Cause I don't want them to come back and say, well, he got hurt, you know. I ain't, I ain't did a damn thing. He got a stay away order. I stay away from everybody on his stay away. Cause I don't want them saying shit. You know, I ain't did a damn thing. I'm just on another angle of his situation. I ain't going nowhere. I ain't looking on their shit. None of that. I don't even know what their pages look like. And I don't even know what none of them people look like. So, can I tell you? I don't know what none of them look like at all. I stay away. You know what I'm saying? Only because, you know, they try to say, you know, I'm the only person that talks to you. So they'll try to say, oh, well, it's her. You get me? Yeah, I do understand that. You know how they try to say it because they try to lie in court and say the girl won't, won't, don't want to come forward because she's scared. How is she scared of somebody she wasn't scared of when he was free? Now I think he in jail, she's scared. Man. You know? And he don't talk to nobody. Who on the phone with him? You know what I'm saying? Who is he talking to that's, that's intimidating? Exactly. So, so what the hell, y'all? They, but they come to court lying because they can't get them to cooperate. So they sit there. She out of reach now, so they can't even try to intimidate her or try to say, well, if you don't come in and go through with this, we're going to pull charges on you. Well, good luck. I'm in New York. Good luck. I'm out of town. You know? Right, y'all can't. And her parents probably told her to go, you know, to go out of town or whatever. You ain't going because they're going to fuck with you, you know, because now their case is weak, you know. Well, all we got is your word. Yeah, well, whatever. I'm good. So. Well. They do that. I see it. They do it. I've had, we've had uh, clients that had to go through that shit, you know. They sit there. Well, if you don't, we're going to, because they don't want to drop it. So instead of just dropping it. They want to now. They want to sit there and, and force charges on the victim, of their victim, you know, and and try to force them to uh, keep the lie going. Which is you know. not fair. I mean, because they don't give a shit that it's a lie in the first place. They don't care. So if that was the case, they would have did. They would have did investigation off of the accusation. If you truly cared about this being a serious or a, a true crime, you would have went further than a statement. Why didn't you go further than the statement to see that this was really the truth instead of a bitter chick that's just mad at some dude she used to mess with? Because we know that's the first thing they do is either call a relative to come see his ass or they call the police or they go key his car. So yeah. why would it, why, why wouldn't you, since you knew the, 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 you know, the relationship, you knew what type of relationship it was, why didn't you go and do some further investigation instead of, all I got is a conversation with this chick. We sat down and said, that and the other. Would you talk to him? No. Would you go to see if her story was actually true? No. 
you got some Zales. Yeah, okay, you got some Zales. Then you got a conversation that goes with the Zales. Do you know if he gave her the money back in cash? Because they, they, they were seeing each other, so a lot of stuff could have happened in person and not through the phone because it was local. It wasn't long distance, you know. It was personal. It wasn't business. So a lot of stuff has happened in person through a, a face-to-face conversation. No. Okay, so you just ran with this on the one-sided notion. And she went through your phone, read the text messages, called the beat chips, and, and said one thing to get them down there and twisted the shit. That's what I think shit happened. I read the warrant with the barber guy, and, they, and, and that shit was some bullshit. Oh, he came in and introduced himself as Ernesto Williamson. That made no what? sense. How the fuck he gonna say that and, and he know him? He, and you acting like he was a stranger off the street. What? How are you gonna lie on that warrant? That, well, that warrant was a whole lie. I was like, what? Man, I just don't want to say. Okay. Man, I was like, that's a, why well, I'll I, I be talking to your people and they know, so. <laughs> they was like, that dude worked for my father at the barbershop and he know him, know him. I was like, well, that's, it warrants him out. He picked him out of the lineup, and he drove this car, and he said his name was Ernesto Williams. So he's trying to make it look like it's a whole stranger. Like, he that's, that he did not know the man at all. Like, they try to kill every – they trying to kill it like it wasn't uh, two people that knew each other personally. As to say, he just walked in off the street and just started trying to sell – I can fix your credit and da 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 to him, and this is my name, and and, 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 and like, it was a complete stranger. I thought that when I read it. But then when I talked to um, your son, he was like, no, that's the touch of such, and we all know him very well, and we're da 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 And I was like, what? He was like, yeah. I was like, mm, mm, mm. Well, that warrants a lie. Man, that's, all that shit is some bullshit, because I can really get to talking, but I can't talk. I know. You can talk all, when you go to court. But they know the, they know the truth. They know it. They put the shit in line. Yeah, what I understand. I, I see now. I mean, you know, you got to call folks out on their lie, but a track record don't be bullshitting around. A track record. Exactly. That's what I was saying. No, it don't be bullshitting around. Yeah, it don't lie. Track records don't lie. So mm-hmm. my fucking don't be able do what they do. Mm-hmm. So, yep. like I said, you see, I'm a, I'm a, Danger, I'm gonna listen to that. I don't know nobody can say and call you and tell you, I'm gonna do nothing to nobody. Mm-hmm, exactly. So they, they, what they're gonna say is, I'm gonna And how come all the other girls didn't say that? You got one chick saying this, that, and the other, but all the other girls didn't say nothing. They didn't say he was violent, or he was this, or he was that. Not, none of them said it. I ain't none of that. I'm not none I of that. I was like, hmm. So what we need to record a phone call, we need to record it, um interview that you had with the alleged victim to say exactly what was said during this interview because it's supposed to be recorded for that. Because I don't think it even was. I think a lot of that stuff was, was, was her coming in there lying. Because uh, she well, lied on all I, the I other shit. I just don't understand why would they do that? Why would they put my life in harm's way on some shit like that? They, they don't even know that shit is a life sentence. You're looking at some TV. They don't, they don't, listen, a lot of people don't think, that's why a lot of women be put to call and lie on, on dudes to the police, because they don't think about after the fact. They think that shit is a joke, because it's, it is such a common situation, they, people don't realize the weight of it and the seriousness of it, and they just feel like it's just to go to, because that's what girls do, and they don't, they don't look at, Whenever a story come out or they never follow through to find out what was the back end and, and why you don't do something. And that's what needs to be taught um, to these people more so than anyway, anything. You don't do that. Like I said, I've had people in my circle do that to people. And oh, casually, you know, always was calling the police. <clears throat> my relative. She used to do it so much that the police told her she called one more time. They were going to come and arrest her. So she used to call the police on, on baby daddy every time he was five minutes late, ten minutes late, and try to put a kidnapping on him. What? Yep. Yeah. She's called all the time. She's an hour late. And they'd be like, okay, bye. Quit calling me. 
Oh, he, she would call literally so much. They told her, if you call us one more time, we will come out there and arrest you. Stop that's calling us. Psych, that's some psycho shit, though. Yeah, because she's psycho. She's psycho. We just love calling the police and lying. Trust me. Okay? I know firsthand. She loves to call the police and lie. That's her thing. That's her thing. And no remorse. Don't give two fucks about it. You know, at all, at all. Just, you know what I'm saying? Just don't. And you got people that don't give a shit. You got people that don't give a shit. So that's just how they go. They be mad in the moment, and they just do shit out of anger, and then they think about it after the fact. Now I ain't mad no more. So, um, yeah, don't do that, because I, I changed my mind. Because, I, I, like, that didn't really happen. I was just mad. Huh. Mm-hmm. Damn, for real. Yeah, I was just mad. Yeah, that's fucked up that you did that, though. <clears throat> and so what they do is they just put you out there here, so they ain't got to think about it. They put you out there here. It's a lot It's a lot of it's a lot of deranged people out here. A lot of deranged people. And, and a lot of them love God. And it's weird to me that they, they move like that. But they just say things just to say it, I feel. I feel like because... And you're supposed to love everything that's created if you're supposed to be a servant to the person. And all God's creation is everything living. So you're supposed to respect all things living if that's how you move and treat people exactly how you would want to be treated. That is your example. In your mind, how you want is how you're supposed to treat people. But she well, that's, is. That, hey, that's why I don't understand. What the fuck I'm in here for? I guess she's sitting in there to clean your house. I guess so, because uh, mm-hmm. I should be sitting in this motherfucker. I'm I mean, straight up. I, I, I don't mm-hmm. know why. Are you sit there to clean your house. It's like that. It's, 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 it's forcing you to see people in your life for who they really are. Everybody. Everybody in your life to see how they are, who they are to you. And, and when you're at your lowest, who there, who helping, who for self, you know? who on that bullshit, and, you know, maybe because you did a wake-up call to your life, you're on the short stick of your life right now going forward. So you need to live every life to the fullest and stop wasting time and, and doing things that don't really matter. And I think people get caught up in certain things, being around certain situations, and they get caught up on the on them on the hype of things instead of thinking what really matters. And time is what matters. You can't get time back. Don't waste time doing things that you can't get back to. Just doing things that don't really matter. And what you think matter in life to you really don't matter to you in life. So when you land somewhere, it's either a hospital or jail. So when you laid up somewhere, it's going to open your eyes to tell you something. Like when I was laid up in the hospital, and five weeks or whatever, <clears throat> and it just really gave me, because I didn't know if I'm going to see tomorrow, if I'm going to see tomorrow, I'm going to see tomorrow. Perspective on, you know, I raise my kids the way I should have, you know, if I leave tomorrow, are my kids going to be okay? What am I doing? What do I need to be doing? You know what I'm saying? What's really going on in my life? Or what happened the week before I got here in my life that I was doing, you know? So, I'm, it's been long, so shit. I know you don't thought about everything three, four, five times in life. Man, I've thought about shit a thousand times. And, you know, it'll still pop over my head and, yep. you know, and new answers and, you know, the questions I'm trying to figure out and the answers might not come today. But it you have one minute remaining. Yeah. But I, I, you got to look at what your natural ability is, what your natural gift was. What is the natural gift that you was blessed and born with? And that's what you should concentrate and focus on. What is it about you or what is it that you possess as a person? And that's what you deal with going forward in life. Mm-hmm. Everybody has something that they naturally have about them. You can call me later tonight if you want. Um, and that's what you do. That's what you deal with. Okay. Well, I, don't know. I love you. I love you. I love you. Get up. Well, enjoy your day. Thank you again. <laughs> Get up. Get up. Get up.
Thank you for using Global Telling. In this next call, Sonia also says this blogger told her that Erica King got beat up in jail. Take a listen. Hi. What you got going on? I don't think I'm going out. Oh. <laughs> Can't do it. Uh, I mean, I could find the energy, but they're on the phone trying to figure out promotions and, and you know, for their tour. They're doing a tour, so they're trying to figure that stuff out. So, oh, okay. I, and, and then they completely forgot. I was like, are we still going? She was like, going where? I'm like, uh, Max City. She was like, oh, damn, I forgot. And I'm like, uh, let me know, so I'll, you know, go cross the street, find me some food and Stay my ass and binge watch TV like I always do. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> so yeah. Uh, I think a blogger did something on um on her page. She said she texted me and told me she didn't realize people hate me like they do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay, hon. I'm all right with that. She said, she said, um, oh, my gosh, the folks on YouTube really just like you. It's sad when they don't know you. I'm sorry for that. They are coming for me hard because I told them to respect you or they will be blocked. Some have uns unsubscribed. I'm a child of God and that treats people with respect and compassion. I just want you to know that. I don't want you to have. I said, it's crazy. I said, this world is support tape. I said, you don't have to defend me. It's too late at this point. <laughs> you know, don't say anything. You get me? Just don't talk mad shit about me. Just report whatever the story is and, and don't put an opinion with it. And that's it. Because all of these months with them doing that, and because, you know, it's, I didn't say anything, you know, until now, and by now it's already embedded in their head. People just hate, 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 hate. But that's any story you put out there. Any story that, 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 um, if you go to any story on Instagram talking about anybody, all the comments are hateful. Hateful. That's just the climate we live in. They had Jonathan Mayer do an interview, and he was talking about how he felt that Megan Good was his Coretta because she just stood by him and supported him through his case and was going to court with him, every, you know, every time they had court. You know, they found some shit to talk about that. They brought it, just had something negative, 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 negative. And I was like, how? It's just people are so unhappy with themselves that they you hate. That's all it could be. Because any story about any black person, I don't care what it is, you're going to read the comments and 95% of them are going to be negative. It's just hateful. The music is hateful. The rap, all the female rappers hate each other. Everybody's a bitch and a hoe. You know, the niggas ain't doing nothing but shooting each other up. It's just the whole situation amongst these black color folks is hate. hate. With a side of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Which I don't understand. You're supposed to be positive, you know what I'm saying, loving, uplifting, because all people are supposed to be God's children. And if you are a believer of God, which most people are, you're supposed to be positive, uplifting, and all everything that's good and gravy. All these people sound like devil worshippers. This is a situation now. It's saying that's what the sound is. Everybody's fucking devil worshippers, because the, the, devil, the devil promotes hate. So you can't tell me that you anything but a devil worshiper. That's all. I don't, I don't, I don't like being a part of none of that type of shit. Uh, what? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's sad. But I said, I don't worry about me. I'm good. I don't know them people. I don't mind. I don't talk with people that don't normally hate me. Damn. At all. At all. What do they hate me for? Oh, because I'm talking to a married man. You have no business even speaking to him. I was like, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. I never knew once you get married, you off limits to talking to people of the opposite sex, period. Like, you cannot do it. It's like a punishment. Yes, you can only talk to your wife. <laughs> okay. Well. Uh, it's whatever. I didn't hear that in the vials that people say, so, you know, that's crazy. Say anything out their mouth. 
So when it came uh, out there, um, it was them. Man, if it was uh, them with shoes on the other foot, it would be a whole different story. Whole different story. No, it's, it's just a division. That's all. You keep everybody divided. And when the world, when the leaders do shit that everybody disagrees with, nobody's on the same page. So it helps them. It helps the, the, and that's what the government wanted. Everybody to be hateful towards one another. Cause in the 60s and the 70s and the 80s, you know what I'm saying? The music was this and people were getting along and, and you know what I'm saying? It was just very little dispute or whatever. And all of that trickles down to the children, which these dumb people don't realize. When you're on the phone spewing hate or you on the internet spewing hate, your kids are sitting there listening to you. And they're picking that up. They're picking all that hate up. And so then you wonder why the school keeps calling, why your child keeps fighting, why your child has no friends, why your child is in jail, why your child is killing people. It all came from you. And everything you put in front of them and showed them. You're you're showing your children to hate and be hateful. That's all it is. Yeah, that's, that's it. That's, that's it. it. My kids have never been in school fights, school arguments, none of that stuff. Since he's been working in the strip club for 15 years, about a little bit. Yeah, about the same time I've been working in there. She's been marching. And not one fight, nothing. You know why? Because she doesn't. She's not. She was never around somebody that was in the house being hateful. You know? I was never in the house talking bad about people or just being just negative and hateful towards people. So my kids, you know what I'm saying, aren't those type of people. Except for she got world rage. <laughs> Dang. But they don't, my kids, neither one of them, you know, they're not angry people. Well, them folks should have known that. They, they, uh, they should have known all that, that, that hate stuff was out there before they even got started with that. Yeah, they, they they're not conscious. That's the thing. They're, they're unconsciously doing it. They're not conscious of it. That's the thing. They don't know. They're programmed. So right now, it's the norm because everybody's doing it. So they read all the comments, and then they add the hateful comments. And then they go to the next one, and they read all the other comments, and then they add a hateful comment. So that's why I couldn't understand why is is no person trying to do something, but they started like that, too. Yeah. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm so that's what I'm trying to figure out. Why? Why would you? Now you switching your game up. I didn't ask for all that, but I'm just trying to figure out how did that just come apart. Now, now you see what's going on. I'm, I'm confused. You're too late in the game now. That's a lot of work to catch up. It's like the, the turtle and the rabbit. That's a lot of work to catch up. So. That's why I was just, I'm still is confused. So, so I can't worry about that. I just got to sit, sit, sit. But go ahead, I'm listening to you. Hmm. I told her, because she goes and she picks up all of the court dockets and she goes around and does all of that type of stuff. What'd you say? She goes and she picks up court dockets and documents and all types of stuff. She, she sees a little bit more stuff than I do, right? Because she's doing the most, which is fine. You get me? So like I said, the more they're digging, and they're digging on everybody that's involved, you know? So I told her, I said, well, I got to go get this police report regarding that incident that happened in October 21 with the girl. I said, maybe you might want to interview the victim. That she scammed. <laughs> she was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, mm hmm. Well, here's the thing. If you put all the evidence out now, you don't have to wait for an indictment. You know? It's the phone record. Put them out there. This is what the conversation was. There was no threatening conversation. Matter of fact, he wasn't bossy or telling her this, that, and the other. So that doesn't match up with that charge. So here's the evidence. You get me? And how these bloggers put everything out there. You ain't got to wait for no indictment or five years sitting in jail. And you got all these bloggers, you know, out here doing all of this nosiness. That one girl, when she put all my information out there, she gave all the other ones 
the idea to be just as nosy and just as transparent with all the players involved. Because the one girl did a whole thing on Erica and was putting up all kind of videos of Erica, you know, when she was younger and, you know, in her better state or whatever. He was telling me something about Erica. Oh, my God. What did she tell me about Erica? Oh, gosh. I forgot what she told me about Erica. Something about Erica. Um, well, don't worry, don't worry about it. I ain't trying to hear nothing about them for old man. <laughs> uh, but, I mean, it's something, about, it's something about, I think, either her health. You already knew she was sick. So I think it's something about the health. And something else. I can't think about it. Or 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 her or one of her new cases. Something with that. One of her other cases. I can't remember. I, I, it was like several things she told me that I didn't know. You know. Yeah. That was crazy. But like I said, you know. Well, I already said them for the six. Mm-hmm. I said that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I said that damn near two years ago. Oh no, this is what it was. They said they got her out of jail because she got beat up in the um at the jailhouse. They whooped her ass. That's what, what? It was. Yeah. That's what she told me. I know it was coming to my head. Yeah, Come she on, said man. they beat they she said that she got beat up real bad and while she was locked up. Yep. What? I guess that on top of her already being sick. Yeah, that's what she told me. Yeah, that somebody beat her up in jail. I was like, damn, I wonder if it was somebody that knew her that scam or she got lippy. You know, but females fight for no reason. Females fight more than men. That's the thing. Because at the trip club, we had a female fight every day, it would seem. But the dirt, the guys fight three times a year. But, like, every week we had two or three, four, five fights with with females. Um, but, yeah, that's what it was. She got jumped or beat up in jail. That's what it was. They beat her up in jail. I thought she was in she didn't get all the dirt. <laughs> she didn't get all the She got on the phone for two hours. She telling me a whole bunch of stuff. I was like, damn, didn't know that, didn't know that, didn't know that. Wow. Yeah, she be doing her investigative work, that's for sure. She sure do. And they're all trying to get the next big story of this. You get me? Every time they release a phone call, then somebody want to go and, and, and get this. and, and somebody wanna... Thank you for using Global Tell Link. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and turn notifications on so you don't miss the next one.